Hi everyone, welcome to today's class on sketch design. Today we'll be going through the BIMCO series of sketch design kit, which includes uh, the setup and importing of the elements, uh, pens, fonts and dimensions, sketch views that are available in the BIMCO project template, uh, some of the 2D sketch design families that are available and how to apply these to projects. Okay, so first off, for just sort of a bit of a preamble, uh, one of the major challenges we often hear uh, about Revit is that its inability to test ideas and do sketch design quickly. Uh, and this is usually because of the constraints within a model and how complex you know putting together a model can be. And even if you're able to design something, how do you how do you prepare and demonstrate various options without um, uh, upsetting the model that others might be currently working on. Um, so for this, we've developed a series of uh, workflows and 2D families that you can use to generate uh, sort of feasibilities and sketch design and test ideas before you commit to the model. Um, and hopefully that means that you can have a level of fluid fluidity and um, make changes uh, on the fly quite quickly before you commit, as I said. Okay, so first off, um, we're going to have a look at the uh, sketch design uh, view. Uh, what have we got? The sketch design drafting view here. If we head into the BIMCO project browser and navigate over to the project repository, we've got a view here called sketch design. In here, we have our uh, sketch design uh, kit of parts, let's call it, uh, which includes our text, our uh, pens, and dimension styles. Uh, these are all live, so you can just copy them. Um, if you do need to get this into your project, you can load it straight in from Kinship as a view. And the way to do that would be to search and look for your uh, sketch design drafting view, which is here. Um, bringing that in will bring in all of these elements as well as um, all the pens and, and, and dimension styles and things um, which you can then apply to your projects. Okay, so these uh, elements work best on a view that's sort of set up correctly to uh, accommodate um, the look and feel of a sketch. Um, we've actually got that also set up in the BIMCO project template under uh, sketch design SK, any of the views there for plan view will actually have that already set up. So if I have a look at um, the view template for this particular project, you can see here we've got an SK plan general view template. And in here we've customized the way, the look and feel of it so that you now we've turned off the majority of the elements and there's a bunch of filters applied such as our trace paper has a transparency on it. And there's also sketchy look applied with line extensions. If we have a look in here, sketchy lines, we've got an extension. We've stayed away from Jitter. We don't find that it presents that well. So that's up to you though, if you'd like to apply that to your own views. So what we're looking at here is just a series of um, 3D walls actually. So this is our, uh, our space that we're going to be looking at um, sketching over the top of today. Okay, so on uh, within the BIMCO sketch design library, we have a series of 2D families. I'll bring those up now. We've got them up on Kinship in their own dedicated library. We head down to our BIMCO sketch design library here. We've currently got 27 items in there. And you can see in here, these are, these are our sketch design items. So SK and it's got 2D on the end. So we know and we can search for these. Uh, these elements have been developed uh, with reference to the metric design handbook so that the look of them is quite simple and um, they're, they're not sort of overwhelmingly complicated and um, easy to use. Uh, we do build in a lot of clearance zones and things into these as well. Okay, so the uh, SK trace paper is probably the first thing that we'd like to, to bring in. Um, so. Rather than load all these in one by one, I've already got uh, 
a bunch of these loaded into my view. I've actually even copied over this entire uh, drafting view. You just copy the elements into the project. I've also placed a bunch of these families here. Uh, so I can quite quickly and easily drag them over to my to my view. So these are 2D. Okay, so let's start off by putting down our sketch uh, trace paper. So I'm just gonna open up our search here and look for our trace and select that. And we're gonna go with yellow trace today, but we do have white trace as well. Okay, this won't actually show until you place it. So top left, and it's just got some instance parameter grips that you can use to stretch or tear your paper off, your butter paper off. And if you want, you can add a little bit of a an angle to it to give it that sort of sketchy look. Okay, next up, we're going to define um, some of our elements in our, um, our apartment here. So we're gonna either copy from our series of lines over here. We might say pick our blue pen thick line. We've got three different thicknesses here uh, and I can copy one of those down. And we can say, let's say, bring that to the front and we can just sketch that in. So I'm just gonna use the align tool. Now remember we're just sketching here. So we're just gonna do this quite roughly. And if you wanna create a new line, you can click on it, go CS, which is create similar. And we're just going to sketch in roughly some sort of apartment layout here and not getting too finicky about it. Okay, next up, we're going to um, want to insert, say, some doors into our apartment. So we can do so by searching our library. We've also got some available here. We've got um, these are parametrics. So we've got your common sizes, 720 through to 1020. We're just going to use this 820 door here. Again, it's just 2D. So just throw it down on top of the model and um, place it where you need it. I'm just going to roughly copy it around using CC for copy. Spacebar rotates it. Okay, happy with that. Uh, next up, let's pop in some beds. Copy this over here. Space bar to rotate it, place it where you need it. Um, again, we've got various sizes that you can use. This is a queen size, but if you'd like a king size, double size, you can swap it out like that. And they often have things like tables. Um, now, not everything has to be a family. So you can see that we've just done the walls roughly as a thick line, but you may wish to sketch in some wardrobes. Let's go and grab um, some of our 2D line work by going into annotate detail line. That's that's basically what we've been drawing. And here's our solid blue pen, three, five, and seven. Let's go with three just for our wardrobe here, something like that. You know, and remember you can always just refine it as you like. Don't want to get too precise on this. It's really just trying to test ideas. Okay, and then we'll do create similar on that. And we'll do some do one similar over here. Okay, let's go through and populate um, some of our spaces. So um, here we have a table. I'll show you how to assemble this. So we've just got a table, it's a rectangle. Maybe this will go out here. Let's just pop in some detail lines again, sketch them out. This table's quite quickly parametric, so you might change the width of that to something else. And we'll grab a couple of our chairs. Again, they're just very simple shapes. You know, it's just idea testing. Okay, so we're just gonna use a line there, bring that in, move that in, and copy that, copy that. and mirror it over, MI for mirror. Oh, just make sure that you have copy picked on and then you just change your draw order so I can bring that to the front, okay? Continue to 
populate our space. Let's grab a coffee table and a couch. Space bar there, drag that in. Again, that's parametric if you want a larger coffee table. And let's use some of our different pen styles. So detail line there. Maybe we want to use a uh, red pen for our um, kitchen. So let's just go with maybe about that, something like that. Nice and deep. And if you want to just sketch it in. Um, and then, you know, you've got the option to just include some other elements that might be important. Um, like where is the cooktop going to go and sinks and those sorts of things. Okay, uh, windows. Got a couple of these parametric windows which you can drop in. Again, just 2D. We're just snapping over the top of the um, the 3D elements there. Okay. Um, what's left on this? Uh, bathroom, of course. Um, I want to show you how to do those in a different manner. And then you may wish to title this. So let's do some text, TX. Go on, find the sketch type pens. And we'll call this layout option A. And this is going to have two beds and one bath. Two bed, one bath. Okay. All right. That's pretty much the idea of it. Um, you can see it's really fast to test ideas. Uh, but what happens when you want to um, sort of uh, test different ideas with this? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to group all of these. And a handy way to select all the 2D elements is actually to use uh, the PyRevit Pick 2D Elements. So Pick Detail Elements tool. That will mean that I, I can select across the view and only pick 2D and I can group it and we can call this apartment sketch A. And this is our option A. I may copy this off to the side. Let's copy it off as 30 meters exactly. Now with this, um, this group, you do want to specify the origin of it if you do want to swap it and make different types. So when you select the group, you've got this uh, origin for the group, which you can drag and you pick sort of a corner that will be fairly stable. In this case, I'm just picking this bottom left corner and that will update this one over here because it's the same group at the moment. Okay. Um, now, if we'd like to test different ideas, we would then just go ahead and edit, type on that, duplicate it, and we can now do apartment sketch B. And now this is an independent group. I can double click into that, and then we can pretty much just grab all that out of there and test different ideas. So create similar, you might draw it something in like this here's another another um, apartment option uh, copy your doors in like so snap them in a little bit better than that maybe the bathroom over here okay uh, i'm just going to use that same kitchen loosely Rotate it 90 degrees, drag that, move that into position. It's going to maybe we'll do a gallery kitchen instead. So trim that TR. It's just all 2D, so you can just drag it around. Uh, finish. You know, you get the idea. Actually, obviously, I want to delete all these bits and pieces. So, and this is going to become layout option B. So, really quick, as you can see. Um, and then when you want to swap between the options, you can select it and you can go to your type selector. And because it's got the same origin, you can just click this button here. Option A, option B. Now, 
in order to overlay uh, other options for other parts of the sketch, what you can do is you can repeat that, but you can do it, say, with like bathroom types. So I've got a couple here that I've prepared earlier. And you can just pretty much just drop them into your model. So I might just pop one in here. There's bath option A. Or I've already got the same origin. We can just swap that out for option B. And that can just be copied around and rotated and you can test different ideas. Uh, that can be mirrored too. Provided we don't copy, all the text will remain true.